In the past week, uh, about an airline, um, I don't want to talk about that particular case, but I do want to talk about, um, because of that terrible tragedy, Rich, who's an expert on aviation, uh, it's a very interesting topic that some of the European airlines are now going to have two people in the cockpit. So Rich, what I want to know from you is, um, do you feel having an extra person in the cockpit is going to make a, um, a big difference? Uh, have a small difference. What do you think, uh, some of, in light of this tragedy, what do you think of having an extra person in the cockpit will have for uh, future flights, especially European flights, where they only had one person in the cockpit up to this horrendous tragedy? First of all, it's great to be back. Thank you for having me. I think it is a vital, vital situation that we are dealing with because it's not just Europe where this is happening, it happens all over the world. Malaysian 370 is now more or less the same situation. The pilot intentionally crashed the aircraft. We just don't know where it is. But in this particular circumstance, what has happened now is that the Europeans are on the front stage. Everyone now knows that Lufthansa owns German Wings, and thus Lufthansa is owned by the German government. They have to do something. And what they have to do is they have to require two people to be in the cockpit at all times. Not a flight attendant, a pilot, a trained pilot, not a flight attendant. In the United States, one of the ways the airline skates around this issue is by having a flight attendant in the cabin in the event that the person flying the aircraft somehow, God forbid, has a heart attack or becomes incapacitated, they can alert other crew members. That's not going to wash. I think what we need is we need legislation, which is why I'm extending an invite to either Chuck Schumer or Congressman Peter King to come on the show. Let me sit down with me so we can talk and come up with a ironclad legislation bill that all pilots, I don't care where you fly, who you fly, you fly in the United States, you must undergo a psychiatric background check, pass that psychiatric background check, have it documented, so that we know that you know what you're doing in the cockpit. The most important thing that I stated last time I was on the show is situational awareness. That is an awareness of where you are, where the aircraft is, are the instruments functioning properly, engines functioning properly. It is not about flying a machine, it's about flying a machine with 150 souls on board. And those lives are being taken into your hands. You either know what you're doing, or you don't know what you're doing. If you don't know what you're doing, there is no shame in saying, okay, I have a problem, I need to deal with this, and then go back for training, get the training, and then hopefully get certified again. The problem is that we rely so much on these people, and the burnout rate among pilots is very high, despite what many people may believe. It is a very stressful job to fly an airplane. I've done cockpit simulations on the actual A320, and I can tell you, it is not an easy plane to fly. You are constantly focusing on everything around you, your instruments, where you are, your weight, everything. What happened today in Halifax is a classic example, Howie, because we had an Air Canada jet go off the runway because the pilot mistimed the approach. He landed 1,160 1, feet short of the runway at Halifax, not only did he take out the landing gear on his own airplane, he took out the entire power grid for that airport. That airport has no power right now. There's no electricity. It is a serious issue, far more serious than any of us realize. When we get on an airplane, we need to know the person flying the airplane is responsible, is properly trained, and is certified, medically cleared, not just by a doctor, but by a psychiatrist to fly this aircraft. I believe legislation must be passed that protects each and every one of you and everyone listening to the show in the event that something like this does happen, because it happens a lot. And to wrap it up, I just want to say that I extend that invite. My email is xcartman at yahoo.com, Senator Schumer. You can shoot me an email anytime you want if you want to come on. Just give us, a, give me advance warning so I can let Howie know. I'd love to have you on to talk about this issue. I think the people of Long Beach have a right to know what is being done to assure the safety of these airplanes. Thank you. Okay, very, uh, very um, informative report.
in, in light of uh, recent tragic events. Uh, Tom, our 